Let's look at how to do an opposite change algorithm for this addition problem. The idea behind the opposite change algorithm is to pick an add-in to adjust so that it ends in one or more zeros, making your addition much easier to do. But the adjustments we do to that particular add-in, we have to do the opposite for the other add-in. We got to keep things fair. So for the example here, the 286 plus the 357, let's first align them vertically. Now, let's say we choose to adjust the 357. Let's bump it up to, say, 360. We would have to add 3. But what we do there, we've got to do the opposite. So let's subtract 3 from the 286. So that's going to give us a new problem of 283 plus the 360. Now, we could take this a step further. And let's say we bump that 360 all the way up to 400 we'd have to add 40, which means we would have to subtract 40 from the 283. That would leave you with a 243 plus 400. This is much easier to solve. The 243 plus the 400 is going to give us 643. This opposite change algorithm is strange for me to think about because it's not the way that I learned how to do addition, but it might be quicker than the way that I was taught all those years ago. And it might make more sense to your student. 